Hi everyone, the basal ganglia, the basal nuclei, both are same names. And name doesn't make any difference in functioning of the basal ganglia. Either it can be called as basal ganglia or the basal nuclei. So basal ganglia What is ganglia and what is the what is basal ganglia and what is basal nuclei? So ganglia and nuclei both are almost same collections of the neurons but when the collection is inside the CNS that when it is in the brain or in the spinal cord it is known as the nuclei. When it is outside the CNS or when it is in PNS it is known as the ganglia or ganglion. So in very very simple words the collections of neurons this collection is the nuclei inside the CNS and ganglia inside the PNS or outside the CNS it is ganglia inside the CNS it is nuclei and the tails of these neurons long tails are the axons this collection inside the CNS is the tract or commissure or projection fiber and outside the CNS it is a peripheral nerve either it may be the cranial nerve or it may be spinal nerve so basal ganglia In historical anatomy it is known as basal ganglia but in modern anatomy it is known as basal nuclei. To avoid controversy and confusion in this lecture I will use the basal ganglia. So what is basal ganglia? It is simply the collection of masses of grey matter. It is simply the collection of masses of grey matter. So when we see in the CNS or in the brain here we can see two big messages The thalami, these are two big ovoid masses, the thalami, and here we can see the third ventricle. And here we can see a big comma-shaped or C-shaped or tadpole-shaped the caudate nucleus so this is the caudate nucleus here it is the, th the thalamus or I can say the diencephalon because here we can see the hypothalamus posterior part is having the epithalamus and this part is having the metathalamus and there are some subthalamic nuclei which are also part of the basal ganglia functionally but anatomically when we speak anatomically the caudate nucleus is part of basal ganglia
this part the putamen and this part the globus pallidus or palladium so the caudate nucleus this region of the brain is known as lentiform nucleus collectively the putamen and globus pallidus form a biconvex nuclei known as lentiform nuclei this part is known as the putamen and this medial part of putamen in the lentiform nucleus is known as the globus pallidus or simply it is known as pallidium uh, or palliostritum so this is the primitive region in the phylogeny and this putamen and this caudate nucleus are forming the neostritum so phylogenetically this is newer region the caudate nucleus is part of neostritum and this putamen is also part of neostritum the caudate nucleus and putamen both are connected to each other in this part of the anterior limb of the internal capsule so this part is internal capsule this is caudate nucleus and this is the putamen both are connected to each other by the anterior limb of the internal capsule and forming some strip like areas or striations so it is known as striatum or neostriatum the caudate and the putamen and phylogenetically the older or primitive region is the globus pallidus and it is known as the paleostriatum so anatomically the caudate nucleus the globus pallidus or pallidium and the putamen are forming the basal ganglia the tail of the caudate nucleus this is the body and the tail will appear here and this tail will end in the parietal cortex or the parietal lobe and it is connected to the amygdala ami gadeloid nuclei and it is a part of the limbic system and here we can see one more nuclei or mass of gray matter the claustrum so claustrum and amygdaloid nucleus are part of the limbic system so anatomically this part is considered as the basal ganglia but functionally the caudate nucleus the putamen the globus pallidus and the substantia nigra subthalamic nuclei and the red nucleus are also part of the basal ganglia in next lecture i will talk about the detail of the basal ganglia and connections of basal ganglia and what is parkinsonism